Mmm, yeah. If this is evenly heated. Your tongue. With the peanut. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to the Whiskey Tribe. We're gonna be doing MREs. Devin, what are MREs? Meals ready to eat. Devin is our, he's basically the only guy that we see on a regular basis that has been in the military, and he has had first-hand experience with MREs. I have, but not often, just okay. a few times. So we're gonna do an MRE whiskey pairing, because of course we are. Wait, does the Navy do a lot of MREs? No, not, not typically, Daniel, that's a great question. <laughs> we're out to sea. Uh, this you is, have a kitchen. Wait, hold yeah, on. we have a kitchen, a, yeah. a galley is what Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So you picked the wrong person. Yeah. <laughs> what MREs have you had? Because you were out doing stuff off of the ships eventually. What was that? Yeah, I think I had, I can't, I can't say, I want to say Salisbury steak. I know they come with like little Tabasco things, yeah. some salt, some pepper. Okay, let's get into the MRE stuff. This is brisket entree, gravy, gravy seasoned with beef brisket slices. I feel like if we're gonna pair with whiskey, we'd probably save the best for last. Okay. Oh, okay. So we'll right. go with the chicken noodle and okay. the vegetable in sauce. So how does one go about doing these? Here's what I remember about the MRE. Yeah? You open it up, it's got, uh, you know, like a little packet. You put the, the meal and the packet in, in some water. Yeah. And then it heats up. Let's do it, let's get into it, it. There's your chicken noodle. Yeah. There's your info pack, because you need that. There's your crackers. All right, so we got the crackers here. This is your, like, sugar and Condiments and whatnot. G gum, maybe? Gum? This is the hot beverage bag. <gasps> you got Skittles! That's a new one. <laughs> they have upgraded. Right. Hot sauce, apple jelly, tropical punch, mango peach apple sauce. That sounds disgusting. That's, wait, hold, this is getting thick, man. We're getting a lot of stuff. Peanut butter. Nothing will put the fear of your enemy. <laughs> it's a soldier eating Skittles. That's where you get the top performance. Yes. I'm gonna bake this while you make that. This is going to be fruit punch. Fruit punch. So. Oh, we heat it in this. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. Wait, so no, you no, put no, it in. Oh, look. This is the bag. Right. So you put it in there. What? How do you put your MRE in there? <laughs> this is really confusing. Because I there. can't tell what bag it's talking about. Yeah. Yep. That looks. That looks. Oh, pretty that's good. the thing. Yeah. And then. Uh, oh. Place it in the bag with the heater. So not like in the bag with the heater, but in the bag with the heater. So yeah, I'm glad I could help. You fill, put the water in. Yeah. How, though? I say we uh, just go for it. You pour the water, water in on the outside of this thing? No, no. I don't okay, yeah, that's why I was saying. I don't understand. Put it next to it or in there with it? Allow. It won't fit in there with it, so I'm guessing this sleeve holds them against each other. Does okay. this go in direct contact with it or next to it? That fits so good. Oh yeah, that's... That's money. Yeah. Let's find out if we know what we're doing. It's starting to warm up. This is maximum chunky. Are these bonus chunks? That looks like Skittles. <laughs> are we doing both? Let's cook them at the same time. Done. We actually have a lot of Magnificent Bastards that are in the military. Mm -hmm. Specifically, who is the MB that sent us these? Uh, Richard Sutejo. Sutejo? Thank you, sir, you Magnificent Bastard. Well, that looks like a real MRE right there. We're rocking the brisket entree. Gravy with seasoned bi beef brisket slices, caramel color, and smoke flavor added. Look, can you see this? Oh, there's yeah. smoke coming I squeeze it just to see if I can like, make sure everything's getting heated. So how do we get? All right, I've learned from my previous mistake, I think. Okay. Yes, I have. Okay. Irish cream cappuccino instant powder. Okay, so you, this is what you're supposed to do, I think. Fold it over yeah. to keep the heat in. That actually legitimately heats the food up to, you know, hot yeah. food temperatures. We'll get our cappuccino going, and then we got the peanut butter and the apple jelly, and then what was that? Raisins. It's hot. All right, you wanna you wanna zip it up and then shake it up? Sure. Okay. I'll start pouring us our delicious. Fruit punch. Not me, you can keep that yourself. Daniel forgets why we're here. Passing out the cappuccino mix. Cheers. This yeah. looks tasty. <laughs> oh yeah, that'll do. Yep, Ooh. gas station cappuccino. Very, yep, very, it's very It's identical to like go to the vanilla, French vanilla. Yep, tastes authentic. Yeah. Okay, so split up the accoutrement between us. You guys can have the applesauce, because I really hate the babies. The point of the episode. <laughs> this is to get up here, no? No, no. That's exactly it! That's exactly 
this is why you I don't like that. I've never, I'm never like yeah. that. Couldn't don't, pay me to don't pay me now. <laughs> Not doing it. I'll take the skittles. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this thing. Ah. Okay, here's where we find out if this is evenly heated. Apple jelly? Give me a scotch of that. Oh, it just looks like, what is, oh, what is apple? Daniel, are you? I'm, I'm good. Some? You're good. Yeah. This is yeah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Come on! Come on! Sorry, I'm not doing that. It turns out you don't need a Glen Karen. You could just put the chicken noodle soup on your plate. Because there, there's your chicken noodle soup. Chunk me out some soup. All right, there you go. I'm not going to watch. No, don't watch. Yes. <laughs> you gave him a lot. There you go. Sorry, it just came out faster on yours. We've got Lagavulin in 16. No. Wild turkey. Cause Keep them straight. Because America. Bullet rye. Ready for your chicken noodle bite? I got kind of a cat foodie vibe on the smell there. Yeah. Yeah, me too. It's already cold. I'm going to throw down a little hot sauce. Yeah. Maybe a lot. <laughs> it was like a metallic aftertaste. Kind of stringy. The log of woolen stands up to the chicken noodle. Well, is it because the log of woolen is overwhelming the chicken noodle? Basically, yeah. <laughs> it's like, I mean, there's like a little slight tinge of chicken noodle sauce underneath the log of woolen. You know what? Um, with the hot sauce, it does kind of activate the hot sauce a little bit. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm going to do another bite and move to the wild turkey. Mm -hmm. That was a really nice contrast. Oh. I don't know if it's complimentary, but it was a really, like, the polar opposite of what's going on in here. It makes the bourbon go really sweet, then really herbal. We'll try the rye real quick. Oh, no. Nope. Nope. I, yes for me. I like what the rye did. Because this is just kind of like mushy and a little bit too, like overcooked mm -hmm. flavors that have just congealed together. Right. The rye is this really bright, <laughs> bright, lively, spicy whiskey that is basically filling in all the gaps that become very, very apparent if you just have a bite of this right here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which I don't know why I'm reaching for another peanut butter. I don't think nothing <laughs> I don't think anything works with the peanut butter. I like peanut butter. Me too. Oh, try the peanut butter cracker and the rye. Yeah. That looks lovely. Right? Yeah. It gives like the rye herbal spiciness, this mm -hmm. nice savory undertone with the peanut. Yeah, yeah. Where you at, Devin? Well, the thing is, is I think I kind of mixed up my chicken noodle with my peanut butter. They oh. kind of look the same. You poor bastard. So <laughs> you poor bastard. I'm, I was spreading chicken on the <laughs> So log of in the chicken noodle, peanut butter with the rye. Yeah. My goal is, I think, like, obviously these are very different foods individually. Right. But by the end, is there going to be one whiskey that's standing out as being the most often one to pair well with the things that are in here. So here's the thing I think what this has proven is that in the field, you need at least two whiskeys no. to your one meal ratio. This is what we're advocating. <laughs> this is what we're advocating for armed forces to be able to carry with them at all times mm. an assortment of whiskeys. Yeah. Mortars and whiskeys. Look, you've got a lot right, of pockets, yeah. all right? You got a lot of pockets. Yeah, you don't eat all those. You don't eat all of it for ammo. <laughs> <laughs> I just tried the applesauce. Is that what it was? Applesauce? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's apple. Or chicken noodle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still, I'm still not positive. This episode brought to you by the Wizard of Ads Partners. These are marketing professionals that help you turn small businesses into big businesses. You can go to wizardofads.com with a free article of advice. I'm buying a marketing professional. What are you trying? I'm trying the cappuccino. Definitely bourbon with the fake cappuccino. But the cappuccino was supposed to go with the, um, yeah, actually that will probably taste delicious. Yeah. Damn. I'm telling you, that's, there's no downside That's to that. just legitimately, you know, MRE mm -hmm. stuff aside, that's just kind of a tasty thing anyhow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So can you hand me a paper towel? Do they have paper towels in the field, Devin? I think so, yeah. Oh, uh, mm -hmm. never mind. See? <laughs> yeah, we got a lot of Great, truck backs up, whatever you need. That's been cooking a while. It yeah. has been. Hopefully it's actually 
gonna work. There's no solids in that, but that's the seasoned beef brisket. Dang, that doesn't that doesn't sound right. Let's start with potatoes. <laughs> Devin, you ready? Yeah, let's get a good camera shot of that. Mmm, yeah. <laughs> let's roast beef this shit. So I think the way they typically do it is if it's just your individual MRE, they would use this to eat it. Yeah, yeah, probably, but now you have to scoop it out. Oh, it's just a slush. It's, oh man. <laughs> 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 it's basically beef stew. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, nice. Now did this- Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> right? Are there any things within the... You had a whole pile over there. <laughs> Are there any things in the brisket packet that we haven't already had in the chicken noodle packet? There's raisins. Like I'm kind of regretting not going in a little Dude, bit. Dude, the rye! <laughs> <laughs> um, first I'm gonna try this, the beef brisket by itself. Okay, me too. We'll get some of that hot sauce. <laughs> That. It's really not good. I like it way better than the chicken noodle. Oh, I agree. Yeah. Log of oil. Yeah, that's nice actually. Yeah, like the smoked meatiness works with kind of the uh, the smoky scotch. If you like smoky scotch, you have to like smoky scotch first. Yep. Yeah, it kind of tastes like America. I think the bourbon, the sweetness on the bourbon is gonna go really nicely. Oh, that's way better. And then the bourbon. Oh yeah, that works. The rye works. Let me try those potatoes. Those cold potatoes. Those cold potatoes are I'm gonna really have to, not good. Yeah, I'm gonna have to tap out on the potatoes. I can't do that. I like the potato. I haven't had the potatoes by themselves. I like them combined with the brisket. The rye still stands up to the potatoes. You know, the bourbon. Time, the last time I didn't really like the rye, but I think it does. It, it does keeps well. standing up, right? Yeah. The bourbon is really holding out. You know, I could go either way, bourbon or rye. And I am imagining these raisins are just very standard raisins. Oh, the lot of one's not good with the potatoes. <clears throat> oh, I'm gonna try the bread to just flatten things out. What the heck is this? Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> it's yeah, it's like, almost like a cornbread type. Yeah. It's like um, half-baked Pop-Tart dough. Yes, it's exactly yeah. what it is. Yeah, yeah. It's Pop-Tart dough, yeah. no frosting, no filling. Yeah. yeah. This one, the it's bourbon, really... I keep coming back to the bourbon. That bourbon is good. Hey, it's if you eat the Pop-Tart dough with the brisket, yeah. The bread didn't taste as bad. Is that what we're going for? Like not as can bad. Cancel, yeah, not yeah. as bad combinations. I'm gonna go on record as saying the rye is the only whiskey that's effectively stood up to everything that we've thrown at it. You guys don't typically like the rye though. No. Right? Yeah, it's usually a little bit lower on the list of things that we'd be reaching for, but if I'm, if I'm eating these MREs, then I'm reaching for the rye, and specifically this MRE, I think, with the brisket, this was a lot nicer than the chicken noodle, whatever the hell. Thing. Right, yeah. Um, that's one of the things I, I figured out is there's definitely a hierarchy of the kind of MRE that people, the, the preferences that they have. Some of them are like, crap, I can't believe I got this one. You know, when I was in the field, you know what they um, used to do, at least in my experience, is they used to just pile up a whole bunch of MREs and you could kind of sift through sift them. Sift through and them? And get, oh, get, really? Get the ones that you want. Yeah. Okay. Oh, nice. Yeah. So what were you doing? Um, out in the field. Uh, well, I was a journalist, so I was uh, doing a story in uh, Thailand. Uh, okay. So was... how did you go from Navy to journalist? I was a journalist in the Navy. Oh. oh yeah, okay. I'll send you guys a story. I did it on. Uh, okay. Navy and Marine Corps news. Oh. All right. All right. So you're the guy that's contributing to the 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 news. What's it called? The Navy Marine Corps News? We call it uh, propaganda. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Good Morning Vietnam. It, I think of these as a. I don't actually like Skittles, but I think of these as a palate cleanser. No, this is like, <laughs> you've eaten enough to make a turd. Now have some Skittles.